so this is my pole that I have in my living room there you go I'll zoom out so you can see how much space now this one is from Xpol, which is a brilliant company, it's where I buy all my poles from. And this one is a static and a spinny one. I don't know if you can see, but oh, nice dirt there, but it goes round and round and round. So just so that you can do different moves on it. Um, these come in three sizes. So this one is a 40, which means it's quite quite small so you can get your hand all the way around and they come a bit bigger which is 45 and then a 50 so that's my pole it stays up all year round other than at Christmas when it comes down for the Christmas tree to go in its place and that is what I practice on at home Hi everyone, so today's video is going to be following on from um, the video I did yesterday about my sort of gym exercise routine. So today I'm just going to be talking about pole, uh, why I love it, and I, I do, I absolutely love um, pole dancing as an exercise. Um, I've been doing it now for about, oh I don't know, seven years maybe, on and off, I've had lots of breaks in between, so about seven years, and uh, the reason I started was I moved from a different city to move in with my then boyfriend and now husband and obviously when I moved here I didn't know anybody I didn't know any females I didn't have any female friends here I was having a year off work so I wasn't meeting anybody at work and I got really lonely and decided that I needed to meet sort of new new friends so and I'd always wanted to try pole dancing and I thought why not I'll just sign up for a class so I um, looked up on the internet for a sort of a local class to me and, and I went down and I didn't know what to expect. I I was very nervous going to my first class. I didn't know what to wear. I presumed that everybody would be young, beautiful and look like strippers, I suppose. That's what I I'm gonna be honest, that's what I thought. I presumed that they would all look like strippers and you know in the in the big heels and, and everything. When I walked in it was just a room full of just regular women. Women of different ages, sizes, um, backgrounds, occupations. It was real. It was a real nice surprise for me. So I just got straight in, and I fell in love with it from sort of straight straight away, and uh, and carried on with my classes and got really friendly with the women. I absolutely loved it. And then it happens that class closed down. So then I had to find a new class, and and again I moved to a new school, which I stayed with for for the longest I've been with a pole dancing school for um, probably about four or five years. And I found a group of friends there that I still am friends with to this day and we went, you know, we did loads of things together outside pole um, and I absolutely loved it so much so that I wanted to teach it. So through that school I learned to be become an instructor and, and then following that had my own classes that um, that I also did and I absolutely loved it and again unfortunately that school had to close and I now am at a, a different gym which is what I spoke about um, in my previous video. Now if you've always wanted to try pole dancing but are nervous about what to expect I would suggest just go down just find one get a couple of your girlfriends and just go down to a class don't join you don't have to join in you can literally just sit there and watch but you know there's no no school or no class that, we, that should be funny about you just turning up and just wanting to check it out and just see what it's about and just sit there and see that it's very different to what you would expect. It is an exercise class and um, people just turn up in their gym kit and it's usually done barefoot, I find it easier, you're done barefoot so it's not in heels or anything. Look, you can do it in heels, a lot of classes do but um, at first it's easier, you know, in, in sort of flat feet and, uh, and you'll be completely surprised. Now it's a lot harder than it looks um, and you look at a move and you think well of course I can do that, all well, this is spinning around a pole, how hard is that? But it is very very difficult, you you really have to build up your upper body strength and as, and as women we don't sort of have that naturally like men do so we do have to work very hard. So when you see these girls um, sort of flipping upside down and, and 
hanging off the pole, hanging off the pole, that takes a lot of strength. But it doesn't take long to build to build up to that to that level. Um, a lot sooner than you'd think. More weeks and months rather than years. Um, you know, within I don't know, within a couple of months, you could possibly be going upside down quite easily. It's not, you know, it's not a time frame that's impossible. I teach the way I teach the girls within six or seven weeks we're starting to to go upside down so yeah and and again you just you move at your own pace um it's brilliant for confidence that's the main reason I love it because when I see girls come to my class for the first time they're completely covered up very nervous very um self-conscious and low in confidence and within a few weeks of learning a few moves they sort of come out the shell and then they'll come in you know, cycling shorts or, or leggings and before you know it they're in you know little um, tiny little shorts and they're just so excited about doing all the the advanced moves and and sitting on the pole and, and all these amazing things that that we see on you know YouTube and TV programs and everything so give it a go definitely if it's something that you are curious about or have thought oh god no I don't want to try that it's like, go to a class and you'll see that it's nothing nothing the same um, it is just brilliant it's such a good laugh it's a female environment and really really good fun and if you've ever had a chance to have a, a hen night you know have a pole party for a hen night I definitely recommend it um, it's definitely something something good to do if anybody's got any questions or any um, comments about pole dancing how, how it's how it's helped you or um, whether you love it whether you hate it um, there is a lot of stigma that comes with pole dancing I know that my children don't tell their friends that I, uh, you know, I'm a pole dance teacher or, or anything because I don't feel sexy when I'm on the pole. I really don't. I feel like I'm exercising, I'm sweating, and I'm out of breath, and my muscles are hurting, and I'm covered in bruises, so I don't feel elegant. Whereas the girls in the clubs make it look amazing, and I, I'm still in awe of them, and I don't know how they do it without having to wipe their hands on towels all the time, and it's just phenomenal so again if you get the chance to see the girls in action on the poles in a club go it's brilliant it's a brilliant night out excellent really really recommend that uh, also I did my first insanity class last night oh my goodness um, it was something that's just been introduced at the gym that I go to and I thought of course I'm gonna try it why not so um, it, it was great um, I will carry on with it and uh, and yeah, I really enjoyed it. And you do sweat a lot. Um, I made the mistake, and just take this as a tip. I made the mistake of self tanning earlier that day. N not a good look. Not a good thing to do because I sweated. Now I, I you know I very often fake tan before I go to the gym. I've got no issue with that. But because I sweated so much, it was horrendous. The the fake tan came off on my clothes and my socks. It was just horrendous. So won't be doing that again before an insanity class. But um, if you don't know what insanity is, I don't really know that much about it. All I can get from it is it's very high intense exercising for a short burst then lots of breaks in between so I think you're shocking your body by going crazy then stop it then going crazy then stop it that's what I sort of got out of it but I definitely felt um, energized at the end of it and I definitely did sweat a lot and I really enjoyed it and um, the instructor was brilliant um, and yeah again if you get the chance to go to a class um, I know you can find it on YouTube and you can find DVDs with it um, so yeah give it a go um, yeah that's it that's all I've got to say on Sandy that's everything because I could just go on forever okay so if you want me to do a future video with some, some moves in it or whatever just ask away and, uh, and I'll see you soon bye bye